All right, welcome to my Chapter 5 Season 2 Battle Pass review. Finally, after downtime was over 19 hours. Are you kidding me? They finally got it all worked out, and here we are in Season 2. So I'm doing the Battle Pass review at 9 o'clock at night. That's just crazy. Looks like Cerberus is Tier 1 because for some reason we already have it. Battle Pass upgraded, it says, and we got five Battle Stars. Here's the Battle Pass screen, so remember, every time this pops up, this is the crew Battle Pass screen, it plays exclusive music. This is the only time you're going to hear this music right here on this screen, so I'm going to let it play for a second. Here we go. Okay, so not the best exclusive Battle Pass screen music we've ever heard, but eh, it's not bad. So you can see down there, it does say it ends May 24th. So season two ends in May. Let's go ahead and claim it. So I got a brand new car. This is the Admiral. If you're a Fortnite crew member, that means you have the Rocket League premium pass. Just go to Rocket League right now, load up your game, and you'll get the premium pass. The first thing you get is the Admiral. So claim it in Rocket League. You'll get it for free in Fortnite. Ooh, nasty wheels though. The Cephalopod wheels. Beware of the Kraken. Not a big fan of those. We got... Hyper Hum, clean and quiet. Ooh, those look not too shabby, especially on my orange diesel there. And then we got 400 V-Bucks. I'll cover this in a separate video though. So you could get zero V-Bucks, you could get 200, or you could get 400. And then we got two jam tracks, the 8-bit beat, as well as best buds. Here we go. We're going to start this off right away. So we've got the Cerberus loading screen. Obviously, we already saw Cerberus was tier one. We got the Shade Rippers. Okay, oh, man, I'm not a fan of pickaxes that just attach to your arm like that. Let's just swing it real quick and see. Okay, that's a pretty sweet splash effect, though. I imagine the contrail's nice, too. We got Bork, Bork, Bork. What? Why does it say that? Why does it say Bark? I don't know. That must be a meme I don't know about. Then the Cerberus Bite. Oh, that's not bad. It's reactive, too. Let's shoot it. Okay, so that's a nice glow. And it's nicely animated, too. You can see it kind of lights up to begin with. That's not bad. 100 V-Bucks. Then we got Shadow's Bite Glider. Ooh, that's a sweet deploy. Did you see that? Let's try that again. That's nice. Right out of the gates. Kind of reminds me of Ghost Rider's Glider, though. And we got his back bling, Guard the Gate by Bark or by Bite. Doesn't say it's reactive, but I saw it open there for a second. That's not bad. I wonder if that is reactive. We'll have to see. Maybe it's just animated. We got the shade box. Oh, wow. It's a little Pandora's box. Looks like it goes in reverse, though. Restless spirits cannot escape the pull of the underworld. That's a cool emote. Not bad. Here's Cerberus himself. Looking pretty solid there. Glows quite nicely. Got a Lego style, too. Let's check that out. Ooh, I don't know about that hair. Or the glow on the back, I guess. So you can see he does have three heads, two on the side, and then obviously his main one. Cerberus, nice. Page two. We got a loading screen. That's the key art that we saw. Teased. Banner icon. Three-headed Cerberus there. We got the Immortal Shade Rippers. So these are the same, just blue. Cool. 100 V-Bucks. Then we got the Immortal Style of the Back Bling. So it's gold and blue this time. Same thing for the glider. So let's see the blue version of Cerberus. Ooh, that is even cooler. I like that one. That's not bad at all. What a nice color scheme that is. Look at that. It's like a purple blue. Moving on to page three, we got Aphrodite's loading screen. What's this? Selfie shot? Three, two, one. Wow, that went quick. Three, two, one. Okay. Heartfall. Eh, all right. New Contrail, that's pretty cool. Another banner. Gilded Heart. That's a solid gold. Wow, that's going to go great with some of my gold skins, and the heart looks pretty sweet. Heart's Carver. It's pretty clean. Ooh, nice splash. Love that. Here she is. Solid, white, and gold. <laughs> Look at those shoes. They seem a little out of place, but I like it. That's a good skin. Lego version, uh, okay. Next page, four. So apparently they all have an immortal style. Here's the immortal's heart's rest. 
Oh, wait a minute. Did we have that back here? No, we didn't have our back bling. Hmm. So it looks like it's interactable with the pickaxe. Heart collector. Then here's the heart's carver. Swing it. That's nice. Here's a glider. Well, they got some nice deploys, don't they? One more time. Ha! It's a heart, and it turns it into this big, almost surfboard glider. Sweet swing. Oh, Wait, there's lightning. Why is there lightning? That's pretty cool. He's just floating in the sky, huh? Here's the immortal Aphrodite. Oh, wow. Interesting. I don't know about that wicked protrusion there, but everything else looks pretty sweet. And we got page five, Poseidon. So a lot of people are upset about this because it's a meme skin. Swim free. Oh, geez, it's a meme song, too. I don't want to linger this review on, so I'll just let you guys listen to that yourselves. Maelstrom? That's pretty cool. It's like a slurpy rap. Tritanos Waves. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at the back bling. Protect your pearlescent pal from the deepest depths. Reactive. Ooh, I wonder what he does. I wonder if it sings. Wait, he winked. Did you see that? That's cool. Break short trident. Okay, this is not bad. I know people were upset with this meme skin, but this is not too shabby so far. And there he is, Poseidon. Slurp god of the sea. King of the beach. It's not too bad. Come on. It's a slurp Poseidon. That's kind of funny. It is kind of amusing that they went with the real name, though, Poseidon. They didn't give him a funny name. Then we got the immortal version, so it looks like he's pink in this one. There's the banner, the Merc Tide. Oh, I guess it's purple. Purple pink. Slurp King's challenge. Do you even slurp, bro? <laughs> That's funny. 100 V-Bucks. All right, here's the emote. Sometimes you listen to the ocean. Sometimes the ocean listens to you. Aw, it's a little slurp crab. Okay, that's awesome. Is he going to do the... Oh, I thought he was going to do the crab dance up there. Here's the immortal version. Oh, so it is a purple version, just like Ripley. So if you don't have the Ripley skin, this is pretty much him, just as Poseidon. I mean, he has the literal... He has the exact same color schemes. The light blue, the dark purple. That's awesome. Ooh, then we got Medusa. So a lot of people thought this was going to be Ares. No. We got 100 V-Bucks. Stony GG. Gorgon's Aegis. That's pretty cool. The Gorgon Blade. Let's swing that real quick. That's a nice flash. Snake-Eyed. Here's Medusa herself. Ooh, two different colors. Snakes, too. Her eyes are purple. That's a nice color scheme. Let's see what the Lego version looks like. Oh, she's got the two different color snakes, at least. What else we got? Gorgon Warrior Medusa. Serpentine Summoning. Whoa. Why is it mechanical, though? That's kind of weird, huh? Oh, it doesn't go away. It just stays. Oh, okay. Never mind. It does go away. That was a long emote. And we got a banner with a snake. Serpent's Eye. Animated and reactive. That's a nice color scheme. Look at that purple. Okay, we can't trigger it, which means it must be reactive to nighttime, maybe? Or something else. 100 V-Bucks. Warrior's Gorgon Blade. And then we got the Gorgon Warrior at Medusa. Ooh. Love the color scheme on the hair. I think I like this one better than the first one. Nice. Moving right along to Zeus. We got the Stormy Descent. That's a pretty cool contrail. That's way better than what Thor had. Shocking. Bzz. Of course, it's Jonesy getting zapped there. Thunderbolt Aegis. Ooh, that's quite animated. Selectable styles. Hmm. Okay. The Grand Olympus. Hey, that's an instrument. Interesting. Thunder and Lightning. Ooh. Again, insane deploy. Look at that explosion. Pow. That's awesome. Here's Zeus right here. Wow. He's actually a lot buffer than I thought. That's not bad. I'm quite impressed with this battle pass so far. 
Then we got the Conqueror Zeus. 100 V-Bucks. Tempest Flight, which is Traversal. Oh, man, that's going to be awesome to use with, like, Thor. And you fly around like that. That's awesome. Thunderclap, reactive. Oh, we can trigger this one. Woo! Zeus is stacked with these accessories. That's nice. Bolt blades. Okay, once again, though, the hand blades. Eh, not really a fan of those. Let's swing it. Nice sound effects. Nice splash. Hunter V Bucks. Conqueror Zeus. Okay, he looks completely different, I think. I don't know if I like that one better or not. I might have to see some gameplay of that. And we got Artemis. So she's the goddess of the hunt. There's the Hunter's Ames. Arrow Point Carver. Man, are all the pickaxes on the hand? Nice galaxy effect, though. Starry-eyed Artemis. Animated. Here's her back bling. All the back blings kind of look the same, too, don't they? Hmm. Moonlit Mystery. Oh, that's cool. She must have a music pack, too, because it's playing a custom song. Okay, the start of that was way cool. <laughs> I like that. Here she is, herself, Artemis, with the galaxy effect and the quiver of arrows. That's not bad. Wow. Love the hair there. Very, very clean looking skin. Not so impressed with the Lego one there. Then we got Immortal Artemis. Oh my goodness, is she an orangish color? I might be in love here. Let's see. There's the back bling. Oh wow, it's an awesome fire orange too. Banner, arrow point carver. Hold on, let's swing this. Woo wee, it's like a galaxy effect too. Moonbow Breezer. Holy deep play. The gliders are insane. All these gliders are good. The pickaxes were eh. Gliders are awesome. Look at that. Three arrows sticking out the top. 100 V-Bucks. Here we go. Look at that. That looks like a Mortal Kombat character. That is beautiful. I like it a lot. Very clean. That's... Ooh, that might be my favorite one in the Battle Pass so far. This Battle Pass is amazing! Okay, last two pages. Of course, it's none other than Hades. We got the Shadow Smoke. Okay, so some of the contrails that are big like this, they don't really look the best in game. We'll have to see that one. That's not too bad, but it does look a bit large. 100 V-Bucks. The Underworlder. Another instrument. Ah, this is the pickaxe. It's a giant key. It's almost like a keyblade. The Hadean Key. That's pretty sweet. That's the best pickaxe I've seen in the Battle Pass so far, I think. Is this one reactive? It is. Let's see. I'm going to trigger it. Okay, that's a quick reactivity, but a nice little green teal glow. Makes a cool sound effect, too. Here he is, Hades, with his key. That is clean. Look at that. Nice cape. Nice gold crown. Teal green glow on the fingers and behind the mask. Lego style's not bad at all either. Look at that. He's got the green hands and the gold crown and everything. Pretty solid. Last page. Here we go. Immortal Hades. What color is he going to be? Here's the snake bite key ring. Okay. You see giant serpent holding the keys there. Underworld rock animated. Oh, he's got a music pack. You're all mine. So I'll have to play these later. Like I said, I skipped that first one, so I'm going to skip this one. Here's the glider, the Hadean Chariot. Again, amazing gliders this season. The deploy is on point. Creepy. Skeletal horse, the chariot. That's not bad. 100 V-Bucks. Here's the final skin, tier 100, the Dark Transformation. Wait, this is a built-in emote. So he transforms into that style? So it's pretty much the same thing, except the cape and his shoulders turn that green like his fingers. That's not bad. Let's see if he reverts, too. No? So let's see it one more time. All the souls absorb into him like Shang Tsung from Mortal Kombat. That's crazy! I love the built-in transformation emotes with the tier 100 skins. That's a solid battle pass. I was impressed with all the skins. All right, so let's see the bonus rewards. We got even more stuff here. Different version of the Heartwinder for Aphrodite. 
100 V-Bucks. We got another Aegis for, that was Medusa. So here's the music for Artemis. I wonder if that's the song that plays when she does the emote. We got a Magmatic Poseidon, that's pretty cool. We didn't get a Ripley in that color, so that's unique. The Breakshore Hammer, so this is Poseidon's, and that's not bad. I like that. Magma Wave, that's a solid orange color, like that. The Stellar Barrage, who's this for? This is for Artemis. We got 100 V-Bucks, looks like Zeus has another style. Immortal Zeus. So that's more white and gold, as opposed to his first style. And Artemis gets another wrap, and then here's Artemis' wrap, the Eternal Hunt. Animated, we got the Olympians loading screen. Another 100 V-Bucks, the Heart's Rest. Okay, so that's the normal back bling for Aphrodite. I was wondering where that was because we saw the pink one, but not the normal one. So there it is. And then Artemis gets another style. Whoa, I didn't think she could get any better than that orange one, but look at that pink and almost tealish blue. Wow, I'm blown away by this battle pass. I didn't think it was gonna be this good. This may be my favorite battle pass ever. No exaggeration. Here's another version of the Chariot for Hades. Purple? He's gonna get a purple and black style. Are you kidding me? 100 V-Bucks. The Gorgonic Mike. So we got a Medusa Mike. Another 100 V-Bucks. Here he is. Oh my goodness. So he's gonna transform again, I think? Yes, look at that. Holy smokes. Black and purple in Fortnite looks incredible. I'm in love with this. Then we got the super levels, which we don't know what they are yet. Tell me it doesn't get better than that. Let's check out the quest rewards here. We got the Moonbow Breezer. That was for, oh yeah, that's Aphrodite's. We got a banner, the Flash of Lightning Reactive. So this is Zeus's, let's trigger it. Oh my goodness. Love these wraps too. Here's the Blazing Fire Cerberus. Wow, that's the best one yet. He has a lot of similarities to Ghost Rider. Let's see what else we got. Oh, we don't know page two or three yet. Dang, I thought they always showed those. So we can't even do these until 29 days. What the heck? That's kind of weird. Now, the only thing I'm a little disappointed at in the battle pass is this right here, Korra. So she's from Avatar, and we can't see anything other than the skin itself. So I'll be completely honest, I have never seen Avatar, neither the Nickelodeon version or the real movie. So I am completely, I don't want to say not interested, but I just don't know who she is. And normally in the secret skin, you want something that everyone should recognize, everyone should know, and uh, I don't know. I'm sure there's some Avatar fans out there that are going absolutely crazy, but I feel like they should have put another god in here. We could have had so many different ones put here, but they did Korra? Now with that said, I understand why they did it, because it was leaked that we're going to get an Avatar mid-season event, just like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so it's going to be a huge extravaganza. And it makes sense that she's in the battle pass. Don't get me wrong. And to make matters worse, Ares is the next crew skin. So right now we've got Cat, and in April, Ares is going to be the skin. So they could have made Ares the secret battle pass skin, and they could have made Korra the crew pack skin. Why didn't they do that? Everyone would love Ares here. So that's the only disappointing part about the battle pass. I think this is one of the best battle passes of all time. I haven't been really impressed with the past few. This one blows me away. But the secret battle pass skin, ugh, I'd say five out of 10 on that. So there you go, that's all there is to it. Let me know in the comments, are you as impressed with this battle pass as I am? I think every skin and every glider are phenomenal. Pickaxes were kind of hit or miss. Some of them I really like, some were okay. Wraps were all amazing. This is definitely one of the best battle passes we've ever had in my opinion. The only drawback for me at least was the secret skin of Korra as I mentioned. So there you go, that's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated and don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.